the way that we have been evolving is in two senses. One it has to do with the message itself, where we focus our communication, and secondly, it's obviously evolving with the technology, evolving with the trends, always being trying to be very close to the consumer, to understand their needs and where we can make a real difference you know, with our products, with our proposals, with our messages. So I think that the key is that in 130 years we have been very close to the consumers understanding exactly what is important for them and how we can deliver that for them. One of the things I've researched on with Coca-Cola is that you have customer interactive hubs around the world and as you told me one of them is in the Philippines. How are these hubs used to become more responsive to the market? The hubs are going to work if you have a clear objective of that hub because it's not anymore about listening and responding. It's more about how you really utilize the, that tool to engage with the consumer. In the way that we are doing it in here in Philippines is more how we can drive advocacy towards the brand using that hub. And what we do is that we just focus on having the clear content to be published. We create conversation with that content and we really, really go where the consumer is. We open the channels with them and we push that content so the, the consumer itself is start advocating for that content. I know a large percentage of your messages and content is through co-creation, is the use of mobile. Tell us about how Coke is intending to use this medium to reach out to the customers and gain more sales. I think that all the companies we are learning about mobile yet, right? I think that the opportunities are there, the penetrations are increasing, and we more and more we're trying to get there. For instance, we are trying to use social platforms like a Viber to distribute the stickers or to distribute content. The reality is that we are not exactly there yet. It's something that we need to learn more, is that we need to try more. During this year, we are going to have much more of that. Obviously, our focus is going to be more getting there because the opportunity is amazing. It's, it's very, very big. So we need to learn more and to go, to go and take it. One of the things also that Coke is actually transitioning into is really more of the big social impact goals. I know watching one of the commercials, you were talking about vending machines reaching out to even bridge geopolitical divides, for example, between India and Pakistan. Where does that messaging come from? Where does that uh, aspirational big impact come from in terms of your vision and your evolving strategy for the region? That was part of, we can say, the direction that we had in back two years when we start with these cultural relevance campaigns where we were looking how to impact different communities with our communication and making these moments possible. The reality is that now with the global campaign we are moving more towards the everyday moment and we are trying to bring back strongly our product. With this campaign of test feeling it's how this beautiful product, the great taste of this product, the feeling of drinking this product, the upliftment that this gives you, enhance everyday moment. So because of Coke, the feelings remain there, and then you are more open to connect. You are more open to be together. You are more open to be giving. So finally, Jesus, if you take off your Coke hat and talk from an industry strategy point of view, how do you translate a global strategy into a local campaign with different cultures and subcultures in them? Sometimes the simplest things are the most, the most powerful. When we try to over-elaborate, to try to make it something very special from some region, maybe it's not that simple, right? Because at the end, we are not that different across the world. 